I want to update the long-term US dollar Japanese yen view that I've already made a video about. Partly because I noticed something, or actually mainly because I noticed something that we've been dealing with on other charts lately. So I will briefly go over this. Now the long-term dollar yen chart going back to 1971 Regarding um, an LA wave reading of this, I can see it two different ways, either as wave 3 completed into 2011, or possibly wave 5 entirely completed into 2011. Either way, the view from 2011 is that we've had a 5-wave impulsive upside move here. Switching to the weekly, I have a count on this. And we've seen a three-wave correction from 2015 into 2016. Now, the view from there, I am preferring to view this as five up. Now, the reason I'm making this video is because on the monthly, it's starting to look similar to what we've dealt with in Australian US dollar and US dollar Canadian dollar over the past few months. And that is that the stochastics which have reached a level of above 50 are starting to go sideways. And in my experience, it usually will continue to the upside at some point within the next number of months. Now, to go over this briefly on the other pairs I've been dealing with, we saw the sideways move in monthly stocks on Australian US dollar in this region. And we saw a more similar one on US Canadian in this region. Here, which did extend a bit, gave a bit of a fake out, but ultimately the stocks were below 50 and they look like they're going to continue down overall. And that move from 13750 to 124 has worked out. And so what I'm looking at in US dollar yen is essentially a repeat of that, a bit more of a correction here. I think at this juncture, the downside is probably favored because we have on the daily a three-wave move here, followed by a second three-wave move. And so the odds probably favor another three-wave move down here to a slightly new low. And that is what I'm going to look for in the next few months. I would guess that trades in this will be, or pardon me, that this will last a number of months. And that we may see a repeat of the two I just showed, Aussie US dollar and the other one. So I'm not going to look at this again until I see a clearer signal a few months hence. As I suspect, this will probably just gyrate for a while now. It seems to be lagging Euro-Yen and Aussie-Yen. So I'm going to just stand back from this. I won't be mentioning this in the weekend videos. And I'm going to look for this if it makes a new low into here ultimately for another high because of this impulse. Now, I cannot rule out, let me go back to the weekly here, I cannot rule out a second decline like this for a really big three-wave correction, but because of the appearance on the monthly and the local area of the daily here, I'm going to hold this as bullish and expecting it to hold um, let's say this trend line here for a move up above 126, 126. So that is going to be my, that is my long-term view and I'm going to look for it to turn in the next number of months and to see the stochastics after a sideways period to resolve to the upside. So I will update this in the future, but for now it's going to be on the back burner and I'm not going to deal with it again for a while now. Locally, it seems that the downside has it, but by how much, I, I don't know now. I'm expecting it to be corrective into here. Okay, that's it. Bye-bye.